Hi, Mike from the Fulcrum here. Long time no see. The reason for that is we've had phenomenal weather here in November up until, well, today. Well above normal temperatures. Never got around even putting the hard top on my convertible till just three days ago. And we got our first major snow of the season. And as always, Cyrus Mutley, he doesn't care what the weather is, he's eager to go. Taking a walk through the marsh today, with the first ones in to break the trail, which is always nice. The only one that's been through here is a coyote. Well, it's the first time this year hearing the snow crush underfoot. <laughs> It'd be a one man uh, dog sled team, this guy. Tug, tug, tug. 11 years, 12 years old. Still going. I just love this bit of weather. It's not too cold, just a touch of breeze blowing. About minus two. Coming up to the beaver pond here. The beavers are back. I've seen some trees, evidence of them being at it. I think they were trapped out back in the summer. Now we have new ones in. A lot breezier once you get out of the trees. Another couple of weeks, all these uh, weeds that grew up all summer will be knocked flat by the snow and the wind. Ah, oh, nothing like clearing one's head in the morning. We'll do this trek around. I'll get home and I'll uh, start making up some spaghetti sauce from scratch. Have a sauna and then have some hot chocolate. Do a bit of writing. Edit this video. Take the day as it comes. Yeah, sometimes video doesn't do justice, just how uh, pretty everything looks with a bit of snow on it. Nice and clean. And here we are at the beaver pond. There's one of the back trails in here from along the new main trail. It's paved all along in loops. Well, we'll take a run up here. Oh, the snow, snow squall that was coming in appears to be clearing up a bit. You see a little bit of blue sky out there. We we're supposed to get an immense amount of snow over the next couple of days. Now the pond's freezing over. I 
Got to take a pause every now and again because Cyrus Mutley has to sniff everything over six inches and have a pee on it. I don't think you'll ever get lost. You'll just follow the markings all the way home. You see here is uh, where the beaver has been coming up. Nothing today. But I discovered a path through here. It's normally more beaten down when the beavers are active that uh, goes through a little channel that goes all the way over to the side of the Bay of Quinty, bisects the marsh. So during the winter when it freezes up, you can walk right in back through there. It's a lovely walk, but as quiet as it can get being close to a city. Hardly anyone ever goes back through there. I did have a camp back in there, but uh, some homeless folk have uh, taken up residence and basically trashed it. I did have some video of that camp I did last year. So I'm going to have to find another spot, I suppose. I don't want to interrupt their privacy. I hope they clean it up before they leave. Getting a little colder, a little windier. I'll go right out on the point and have a look-see. The bay will soon be freezing over. The city has purchased this property and uh, it was originally set up for development but it's, it's technically floodplain and wetlands designated. Not sure what they're going to do with the trails. I hope they just leave them natural and don't turn into a paved highway like they've done to the rest of this trail. We need our wild places. It all doesn't have to be paved and marked and uh, with street lights. If that's what you want, stay on the sidewalks. And leave this the way it is. Oh, really breezy out here. They're <laughs> gonna hang long, long. That wind coming off the bay is cold. The way the wind's whipping up, it'd probably be hard to hear me. Ice is starting to form in the shallow sections. One thing about this time of the year, I think you couldn't see because of the foliage, now you can. Little birds nest in the grapevine. Well, that wind is really starting to howl. That snow squall is definitely coming in now. Cyrus Mutley and I are going to head her home where we can still see where we're going. As usual, like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. 
Remember, breathe deeply. Think clearly and enjoy each day, no matter what the weather is. This is Mike from the Falcon.